And we're back. Back at it again. Your old buddy Jimbo, Blue Collar Beer Review. One beer, one take. Ready to rock and roll. We're staying on the Spooktober theme. We're getting close. We're getting close to Halloween. So I got another spooky beer here. It's a scary beer. It's not really scary beer. It just has a scary guy on it. So, but I'm going to make it less scary. because so I'm going to give you some fun facts and tell you some stupid stuff. Uh, not even so much about the beer, but hey, whatever. Hey, this is uh, this is Real Ale Brewing Company. It's out of Blanco, Texas. Oh, Blanco, Texas. And that's kind of in the hill country. And if y'all don't know, the hill country's wonderful here in Texas. And this is Devil's Backbone. This is a Belgian style triple. Triple. Banger. And um, it's named after... Because, you know, Blanco, Texas, uh, there's a road called the, uh, the you know, the Devil's Backbone. And it runs around the hill, through the hill country and around. And it's from like, you know, Blanco, it runs through Blanco. Wimberley, Blanco, through Canyon Lake, around Canyon Lake. And it's this limestone ridge that runs along there. And Canyon Lake's kind of in the middle of it or in around it and canyon lakes one of like the deepest uh lakes in texas because it, it's it's because all the limestones dug out there and and that's where the lake is it's, so that's the devil's ridge there and they call it the devil's ridge because it's supposed to be haunted in some spots it's the most haunted place in texas uh so they say i think i think that might be the alamo but what do i know you know, so um, and then there's uh, there's the Devil's Backbone Tavern that's uh, around there. I think it's around Canyon Lake. And there's Purgatory Road. There's Purgatory Road off of off of the Devil's, you know, off of the Devil's Backbone. So and that's supposed to be real haunted too. So that's where this scary beer gets its name. And um, it's supposed to be a fantastic beer. So, uh, from what I've heard, uh, someone told me about this beer, and I scooped it up, and I happened to find one, and I'm going to drink it. It's uh, 12 fluid ounces, baby beer, baby devil beer. Uh, look, there's a baby devil, baby devil beer. That's what we'll call it, okay? It's at 8.1 alcohol by volume. So, it's a pretty big beer for a baby beer, so I'm going to destroy this. Especially after my, my trial by fire with my giant glass yesterday. If you didn't see it, you should watch it. Uh, that was a wonderful, that pumpkinator. Woo! I'm still thinking about that. So I'm hoping the devil can take my mind off the, off the pumpkinator. Because the pumpkinator was something else. And hopefully the devil, the devil's backbone. Hopefully he's got something for me. Because I'm ready. So... Let's do it. Let's do the double dump, the look, listen, and smell, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tank this one out. This is gonna be quick, quick, boom. Okay, it didn't give up much. The devil, the devil's playing his cards close to the vest, but I can usually get a pretty good sense of what's going on out of that just that initial smell right there but this one kind of i don't know i don't know if this is going to be dark or not i think it's i don't know i'm thinking this one's going to be medium i don't think it's going to be super dark but i could be wrong i don't know i've been wrong before let's do it oh it's not dark at all <laughs> It's a little, it's a little murky, but not really. I mean, it's it's clearing up as we speak. So, the devil's a little quiet. I mean, it's got some life to it, but it's not.
Okay. Well, I should have known these Belgians are usually kind of, they've, they've got that kind of uh, pale paleness to them. Kind of, they got that little bit of white, kind of uh, white, whitish yellow to them. So let's, uh, let's see what's up with the old devil. The devil went down to Georgia. No, the devil's not in Georgia. The devil's in Teja. So, all right, devil. Here's looking at you. Mud in your eye. Ooh. Good burp. Great flavor. No Brussels lace, no lace at all. No legs, no lace, nothing. But good burp. Really tastes uh, refreshing, actually. It's, it's a little sweet, actually. And it's got a wonderful, wonderful flavor to it. It's just, it's really deceiving. Uh, not much of a head was on it. Uh, the smell profile wasn't even, wasn't even there, actually. I mean, I could barely smell it. But once I started drinking it, man, it was just an explosion. It was really good. The flavor, it, it's, it's kind of got that crisp, like a, uh, like a green, little bit of a green apple maybe flavor to it i'm uh i mean all of its its characteristics seemed don't really represent the taste of this beer i love the devil's backbone belgian style triple this is a super deceiving uh wonderful wonderful tasting and easy to drink beer refreshing i like it you should give the devil a whirl. The devil's not a bad guy. We've had witches on here before. We've had saints, kings. Some some would say kings. Some would. Um, so you know we got to give the devil his due. It's a good beer, man. Come on, Real Ale Brewing Company, Blanco, Texas. The devil's getting his due today. Devil's backbone. Jimbo approved. Leave a like, tell a friend. Jimbo out.